There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is by Silver Lightning Software. It's Starfire Part 1 Invaders from Space. Okay, let's hit fire to start, which is space bar, and your ship is controlled with the arrow keys. So we're leaving the mother ship, and we're flying in space. There's some sort of platform coming up, and we know what sort of game this is. Oh, listen to those sound effects. No, uh, no music to speak of. And there's collision as well. There's some sort of drain uh, shooting at us. Okay, and some sort of ten-year-old doing voiceover of the power-ups. Sweet. Let's hear it. <laughs> so this this is somebody's home project. Somebody for <laughs> yes, our weapons are upgraded. But you'll see there are certain platforms that you can't uh, go past. So uh, you have to like let's. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you have to avoid them. Oh, got uh, killed by a cannon there. The controls aren't great. And uh, there's no music. Sounds limited. Very limited. And uh, enemies are a bit spongy, but okay for a starting level. But you can. <laughs> I just love that voiceover. Ah, uh, glorious. Can, can we kill those things? I don't think we can. I think they're just going to shoot homing missiles at us. And I think we've got some sort of power up here that will help us. Bonus life! Excellent, that means I can continue playing this. Oh, oh, oh. Need to pick that up. Yes. Okay. Tyrion, this is not. It's not even Starcom. Remember Starcom? Oh. So there's momentum involved. If you push forward too much, you go flying in that direction. And that is uh, less than optimal, unfortunately. And you can shoot these uh, homing bomb things that come out of here. I think. Oh! Some sort of missile firing bad guy. So we'll have to deal with him. Not sure we can. Yes. There we go. First level complete. And we've destroyed the platform. Hey, we get some bonuses. Sweet. Press fire. Sure, why not? Let's do it. On to the next level. I am giving this far more time than it deserves, but hey, you know what? It's nice that... A handful of people, maybe one person with his brother or whatever, decided I'm gonna make a shooter. And it's gonna have you doing the voices. And it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, kudos for, for doing that. Oh, dead again. Oh, you can destroy the cannons. Look at that explosion. Oh, but apparently, if you run into them, you're dead. A short while later, the earth explodes. No, game over. Oh no. But look at that! I have managed to score a higher score than the creator of the game. That's very generous of you. Lonnie number one when it comes to scrolling shooters. And that's Starfire, part one Invaders from Space by Paul Turbot. What is it? It's a very low budget home release of a top down shooter from 1992 that I gave a lot more time to than it probably deserves. But hey, I enjoy like the sort of feel of these really sort of homemade DOS games. And listen to that wonderful score. <laughs> you know, there's, there's something charming about it. I have to give it that. I didn't really enjoy the momentum controls and I thought it was a bit difficult to begin with. But, you know, it, its heart's in the right place. And that's got to count for something. This music though, man. Tremendous. <laughs> and if you like me playing homemade DOS games that have been 
created by maybe one person. It does happen from time to time. You'd be amazed at the amount of crazy, wonderful games I come across. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos, and if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if you have somehow made it through this week of terrible games, then you might be one of my illustrious patrons, who are very patient with me. Any moment now, some good content will be coming, folks. Any moment. So yeah, that was Starfire. A top-down shooter that certainly was a thing that existed. Until next time.